Members of the Public Utilities Commission, thank you again for the opportunity to provide a public comment. My name is David Morales, and I have the pleasure of serving as the State Representative for the City of Providence in District 7. So I stand here in firm opposition, and I call on the PUC to mark this case as being extraordinary and to reject the historic level rate hikes being submitted on behalf of Rhode Island Energy as it relates to a 45.3% increase for electricity services. And I wanted to remind us how exactly we got here. Over five months ago, after a continuous year where Rhode Island Energy was trying to acquire Narragansett Electric from National Grid, they continued to show up to the Division of Public Utilities and Carriers and continuously said that they were committed to the community of Rhode Island, that they were committed to the working people of our state if they had the opportunity to acquire the assets. And sure enough, over $4 billion later, and not even a year into having control of our public utility system, they are putting forward historic level rate hikes that are going to hurt people from an economic standpoint. And I do not want to talk in the rhetorical. The reality is, everything that you have heard from the diverse coalition of the people behind me is what is exactly going to happen if these rate hikes take effect starting on October 1st. And I emphasize an increase in what will likely be utility shutoffs. People landing themselves into further, and I want to emphasize further, economic debt. The vicious cycle that they will never be in a situation where their utility debt is clear. Mm -hmm. And beyond that, it's going to trickle down into the effects of homelessness. And while I understand that we have continuously cited some of the different existing programs that are going to exist for the purpose of providing consumers relief, they're not adequate by any stretch of the imagination. And I say that because the eligibility to qualify as a low-income utility customer are very stringent. It is essentially 60% of the area median income. Therefore, if you are an individual earning 70% of the area median income, if you are a working family of four earning $70,000, you do not qualify for any of these programs. Mm -hmm. Whether it be LIHEAP, whether it be some form of bill credits, therefore, we are not going to see actual relief for working people. Instead, what we're going to continue to see is the cycle of debt being accumulated. And that is why I called on Rhode Island Energy directly to absorb some of the costs of the increasing energy prices that we are seeing. Because the ultimate goal was that Rhode Island Energy would be committed to our state the same way that they continuously said here, yes. month after month. And after absorbing those costs, they would be able to talk to their economic advisors on how they can withdraw this rate hike and instead be in a position to show us that they are in fact different from National Grid. Right. That they were more committed, that they were going to provide better services. And by the way, customer service hasn't improved at the level in which we were promised either. Come on. But unsurprisingly, after weeks of making such demands, we never heard from Rhode Island Energy in regards to this. And that is why we are here at this hearing today. Because they did not withdraw their proposed rate hikes. And that is why now we are having to call on the Public Utilities Commission to once again mark this case as being extraordinary and to simply reject the rate hikes and demand that Rhode Island Energy be in a position where they work with the Public Utilities Commission, most importantly, also involve community stakeholders such as the George Wiley Center and be able to discuss what it is that we can do, what we can do to actually provide relief as it relates to the fact that utility prices are continuing to skyrocket. And again, during a time of inflation, in between increasing rent prices and between increasing grocery prices, this is not sustainable. So instead, what Rhode Island Energy is going to find is that customers won't be able to afford these quote-unquote payment plans either. But instead, they're going to have customers that are just going to be racking up debt. And they're also going to be responsible for probably recording what will be a record level number of utility shutoffs. And very similarly, I want to note, and I am aware that we have a moratorium during the winter for utility shutoffs. Mm -hmm. 
But once more, I want to emphasize, it is a narrow segment of the population that is protected. You are still going to have a vast majority of the state that are going to be suffering because they don't qualify for those programs. So the root of the issue is addressing the corporate greed that lies within having a profit-driven utility system. And so I look forward to what those evidentiary hearings are going to look like in a few hours. Because my hope is that the Office of the Attorney General is able to determine whether or not Rhode Island Energy followed all the necessary paperwork while also being able to substantially prove that they will not be profiting one dime out of these rate increases. And even the governor emphasized it before. We want to continuously use international crisis as an excuse right. for increasing utility hikes, mm -hmm. despite the fact that over half of the energy supply that was purchased was well before that international crisis right. was even commenced. So with all that being said, commissioners, I once more will ask, after a lack of economic accountability, after a lack of leadership from Rhode Island Energy, we are now calling on the Public Utilities Commission to mark this case as extraordinary, work with the Attorney General's office, work with community stakeholders like the George Wiley Center, and ultimately reject these rate hikes. 45% increase for electricity is not sustainable. The same will go for a 15% increase on natural gas. And so with that said, I want to say thank you. And once more, I just want to say shame on Rhode Island Energy. Yes. Because hearing that people are going to see an increase of $50 and their utility, monthly utility bill is a lot for me to fathom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, knowing that the working people, specifically within the urban core, are not going to qualify for any programs to see relief, right. that strikes a nerve. Mm -hmm. And that is why you see dozens and dozens of community members here behind me. And I understand that PUC hearings do not tend to get much public attention. But this is different. Rhode Island Energy, you have come to our state. And I want to be absolutely clear, you cannot take advantage the people here in Rhode Island. Thank you.